All right, guys, so here's my 23 uh, WRX. Pretty much just did the OEM Plus look. Uh, I'm really a fan of that clean OEM look. I'm um, running a 23 millimeter spacer or 23 millimeter spacing up front. It's a combination between a spacer and the rotor spacer behind the actual rotor. So that pushed me out 23 in the front. I am 25 in the rear. Uh, the car's coming along great, and I'm just uh, trying to get some input on where you think we go from here. I'm thinking about ordering up a Varus uh, rear diffuser, uh, the Varus side spats, the Varus uh, skirt extensions, and then probably just a either an STI lip or the STI or the uh, version two lip, the one that goes basically even across the entire front to bring that front end look a little bit lower. Um, if you walk over to the driver's side, this one thing I really hate about this car is the cladding by the door. If you step on it, that's not even from me. That's from like the guys doing my oil change. But if you scuff a boot on it or a shoe on it, you can't get those marks out. So what I'm thinking about doing, and let me know what your opinions on this, I'm thinking about painting or color matching the side skirt. So basically sanding them smooth and then color matching them World Rally Blue and then using the black Varus skirt extension um, underneath of them to basically give the, the overall body appearance a lower look. Um, I kind of like that option and then I can just PPF the, uh, the side skirts so that way they don't ever get scuffed again and I don't have uh, track marks on them like those. I mean, it doesn't look bad in the shade, but you really notice them in the sunlight. Um, so, so far I'm really happy with the build. Uh, it's got a front mount intercooler, ETS intake, uh, so ETS front mount, ETS intake. Uh, it's paired AOS. I have basically the pitch stop, steering uh, lockdown kit. I have a pair in uh, sock for my master cylinder in case the fluids get uh, expanded that much. They start to overflow the master, which I doubt they will. Uh, these brakes seem to be really good. I've got the ctsvbrakeswap.com brake kit. Um, so basically you buy the adapter and the bracket and the spacer for the rotor as a kit, and then you source the rest of the parts. So I've got less than 1800 bucks in this uh, front and rear kit. Um, technically it's gonna be less than 1800 bucks, but for you guys, it cost me a little bit more because I had to buy the OEM knuckle. Uh, for the front for uh, ctsvbrakeswap.com to make the kit. I wanted to get it released as soon as possible. So by any means, um, I did what I had to do and me getting him the knuckle made the project happen that much quicker. I'm super stoked with how it turned out. These brakes are just absolutely amazing now. Um, so you can't, you can't go wrong on the cost of this swap. A lot of people are gonna hate on it because it's not STI brand or it's not a, it's not a, a well-known um, uh, break big brake kit, um, but I, I'm no complaints here. It's it's perfect. Um, I don't really see any need for six pistons. Uh, I think six pistons is more of like a flex status. Um, these brakes I can go from 100 miles an hour down to like 40 miles an hour in little to no time at all. So I'm super happy with them. Um, but yeah, I have sponsor decals. Have to go on. Have a new sponsor. Uh, I have uh, import image racing. JD Muscle, and I'm working on another one. Um, so let me know what you guys think I should do next. I have the uh, the big uh, hood scoop, and I cut the uh, the vent out or the uh, shroud it or the screen out to give it more of an open look. I am working on developing a set of um, hood diffusers ones that don't look as bad as what's on the market. Right now what's on the market, you really have to butcher your hood and I'm not about that. Um, so I'm gonna be designing a set, having them printed and then I'll test them and then see if uh, I'm gonna bring them to production. Uh, I have a whole bunch of parts that I like to bring to production, but for right now, the main piece that I wanna work on next is the, uh, the hood louvers because I am getting severe hood lift at like 80 plus miles an hour. Um, I don't think it's gonna cause any damage um, it's just noticeably, visibly, when I'm driving, I can see the hood lifting. Um, so I'd like to get those pressures relieved underneath the hood and I'll design a set of um, uh, hood louvers for this car. So let me know what you guys think I should be doing on this car. Um, I told 
I told a friend of mine joking around, if we can get this channel up to a thousand subscribers, we're already at like 530 something. If we can get it to, uh, uh, I mean a thousand, and I'm, I, I literally mean a thousand because no less or no, no less will I ever do this mod, but uh, I will consider throwing on a STI wing. I hate that mod so much. So if you hate me that much that you want to support me so that way I have to do this, then by all means, but if we can build the channel, I'm, I'm willing to do things that you guys want, want me to do. If you want me to throw an STI wing on it, I'm willing to do that too. But it has to be color matched. I will not do black accents on the blue car, except for the cladding. So uh, comment, like, subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.